The universe is made up of billions of galaxies. Ours is the Milky Way, and we're now learning that it once collided with another galaxy about 10 billion years ago. You're look, this is a computer simulation of the collision. The blue stars indicate the Milky Way, while the red ones are the other galaxy that we ran into. CBC Starman Don Haladiak is here to tell us more about what happened all those millions of years ago. Hi, Don. Thanks Hello. so much for coming in. So tell us, what happened? We, we basically had a car accident with another galaxy. That's right. Uh, the, our galaxy formed about 13 billion years ago. And three billion years after that, it seems like another smaller galaxy just had us in the sights and we crashed in outer space and had a huge cosmic collision, which ended up uh, the Milky Way absorbing a lot of those stars from that uh, galaxy. So our galaxy got bigger because this little one came and, and joined us, exactly. I, I guess. So uh, how do we know that happened? It took a lot of observations. So there's two sources of all this data. There's a satellite uh, launched by the European Space Agency called Gaia. And then there's a telescope down in Chile that's been looking at lots of stars. We're talking big numbers here. They've studied over 7 million stars, which I have a hard time just understanding how they looked at so many stars. Yeah. And then they found out of that 7 million, and they studied these stars in great precision with their position, uh, their color, their spectra. They know a lot about these stars. They can make a 3D map. And they found 30,000 of those stars are actually moving in the wrong direction, going in the opposite direction to the way the Milky Way is spinning. And it's like, how could this be possibly happening? And a collision is just one of those ways to explain that. And there's other compelling data too in that not only have they found uh, these stars going in the wrong direction, but their spectra, their chemical composition is different than the stars in the Milky Way. So they're not from here, they're from another galaxy. And also they found globular clusters on this similar opposite path. And if we were to look at our galaxy edge on, you'd see that we'd have a central bulge, these spiral arms going out, then there's a halo of globular clusters. Well, some of these globular clusters that are going in the wrong direction are from this other galaxy as well. So it's very compelling evidence. That is, that, and very interesting that we've got things moving in, in different directions. So now that we know this, what does that tell us? Well, me personally, I think it's really cool that we have stars in our sort of galactic neighborhood that it's from another galaxy. That's like, that's really, I mean, I never imagined that. But also professionally speaking, this data really helps us understand the evolution of our own galaxy. Like we had no idea that our own galaxy had stars from another galaxy that collided with it 10 billion years ago. And this will also help us just understand the evolution of galaxies as a whole and throughout the universe. Now when I, and maybe I'm, I'm wrong on this, when I picture space, I picture like, it's a big, it's, it, it's a lot of area. Yep. How, does, how do two galaxies get close enough that they're able to collide? We're talking great time, like great moments, uh, great uh, time, mo moments in time. Yeah. We're actually going to have another collision. Our galaxy is preparing for another collision in four billion years. We're going to collide with the Andromeda galaxy. So these do happen. They happened a lot more quicker, more often earlier in the formation of our universe, and they're less often now, but they do happen. It's just part of when you're so much galaxies out there, you will collide eventually. How do we know that we're on a collision course with another galaxy? Just observations. We know which way we're moving, where the Andromeda galaxy is, and we're on a collision course. And we're going to hit them. And in four billion years, I'm, for you and I sitting billion, here, yeah. that's a billion, pardon me, that's obviously a really long time. Yes. How long is that in, in, in space time? Like, for, for a galaxy, how long is four billion years? It's not long for a galaxy, but in terms of our solar system, our sun maybe only has about four and a half billion years. So by that time, our sun would be going through what we call a red giant phase. Uh, it would expand so that its surface would almost envelop Earth. So our, hopefully our species has been long gone and we're off to other worlds by then. <laughs> and if the, when these two galaxies collide, do we know who might win? <laughs> <laughs> There's, actually, the Andromeda galaxy is quite large, so uh, it's going to be an interesting collision. <laughs> There'll be a super galaxy after that. Well, if anybody is around to, to see it, I'm sure it'll be very interesting. Thanks so much. You're very welcome.